Hello and welcome to another episode in our series, Interviewing Military Veterans Who Are Knox County Teachers. Today, I'm at South Doyle Middle School and I'm talking with Mr. David Pearson. David, thanks for being on camera with me. So tell us about yourself, please. My father was in the military. Uh, my mom was too for a little bit, but we bounced around our entire childhoods. But I grew up for the most part in Pennsylvania, went to school in New York. I got a scholarship to St. Bonaventure University um, for ROTC four years. Once I graduated college, my first major duty station was in uh, Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson, Alaska, where I had several positions there. I was a platoon leader and an executive officer. I had to go back to a training school um, after I left that unit. But then once that was done to Fort Carson, Colorado, um, where I was able to be a troop commander and that's where I ended my career. My wife and I moved here in uh, about 2017, uh, moved into South Knoxville and haven't looked back since. Absolutely love it. What attracted you to the Army? So that at first it was that way to pay for college. As I got more introduced to the actual military community, um, I just wanted to lead soldiers. I mean, it's they, they're they're the ones who are really in the dirt more so than me as an officer and i always appreciated that they're smart people um, however they ended up there and i enjoyed when i actually got exposed to soldiers going to training schools and uh, interning in units i just enjoyed it i loved it and i knew i didn't want to be in a job in the military that wasn't leading them actively in whatever that condition was now you're a teacher at South Doyle Middle School. What subject do you teach? Social studies, seventh grade social studies, which really is uh, medieval world history. We bounce all around the world, um, talk about how civilizations develop, leading up to exploration and when you know societies meet. The same question, what attracted you to the military? What attracted you to become a teacher? So I knew when I, I reached the goals that I wanted to get in the Army to a troop command. And when that was wrapping up, I knew I was gonna exit the Army. And uh, one day on base, they reached out for uh, people to go evaluate, not evaluate, to go observe a, uh, the local middle school's eighth grade history day projects. Uh, okay, I like history, so why not? And, I went, and it was fun, I just enjoyed it. I mean. I saw their projects, interacted with them, talked to them, and thought, I never thought about being a teacher. I'm a history major, so the joke was always that you'd become a teacher. But I always thought that was not me. Right. But I liked it, and it was fun. So I continued to pursue that route. What things have you taken from your experience in the United States Army and applied to being a teacher at South Oil Middle School? Planning and stress management. <laughs> planning. planning, because I mean, that's all, as an Army officer, you do planning. That's it, you do planning and your non-commissioned officers and soldiers execute it with you occasionally putting something into it. And planning's been helpful because we have a lot of curriculum we have to go through. The curriculum, not the curriculum, excuse me, the, the calendar changes, we have to adapt to what the students do and don't do. And that be a ability to make a plan and adapt to it to still complete the goal is a big thing. Also stress management. Uh, there's other teachers who tell me, you never look, you don't look unhappy. So why would I be unhappy? This is fine. I've been in a lot of worse conditions yeah, than I'm in right now. I mean, I did, a, I did a combat deployment in Afghanistan, um, a non-combat deployment to Jordan, but there's still a deployment nonetheless. So I bet I graduated ranger school, I did airborne school. I've been in stressful environments. This is fine. You said in the military you got thrown right in to a leadership position and you were still trying to figure things out. Then when you started as a teacher, you got thrown right in and you're still kind of figuring yeah. things out. If you were speaking to someone who is coming to the end of their military career and looking at what they wanted to do at their next step in life, what would you tell them about teaching and why they should consider that? I would tell them that it's a way you can still serve. Um, my wife and I, my wife's a nurse, um, and we both have service, some sort of service-oriented jobs. And I think that as veterans, we have a different perspective, and you bring a unique perspective that others don't. Not that the perspectives they bring are wrong, it's just different. And I'd say to them, if you want to continue to serve in a way that you have um, flexibility with, um, in a way that you can have fun with, or really make a long-term difference in your community, teaching's a good way to do it. It's not the only way, but it's a good way. Well, David, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for your service to our country. And thank you for being a teacher in Knox County Schools. Yes, sir. I love it. I love what I do. 